Hello, I'm Annette Tory Banks, and welcome to the Business and Information Technologies Division. Our programs are divided up into basically two groups. The first group is the transfer degree group, and in that group you can complete your first two years of your bachelor's degree here at the community college. Now the best part about that is it's cheaper. The other thing is, is that we're going to not only teach you the theory, but we're also going to give you hands-on application that you don't necessarily always get on the university level. The other group of our, our programs are our Associate and Applied Science programs. And embedded in those programs are certificates of completion. So they're like stepping stones. So you can say, hey, I finished my certificate of completion. You can rock and do the happy dance. And then you can go on and complete your associate's degree. You are in class with people who are going to transfer. So both of you are getting that experience that will build your resume. So Gateway is a great place to come. Remember when I said that we we're going to give you real world experience where you can actually, what I call them as resume boosters, well you'll learn some things in the classroom and then you'll apply them in a real world setting? Well we have several examples of that. One of them is the VITA program. The VITA program is embedded in within our enrolled agent program, which is an accounting program, and also within our accounting curriculum in our associate's degree and in our certificate of completion. In the VITA program, what they do is they manage and operate a tax clinic where they're offering tax services to the community for free. And this program is done in conjunction with the Internal Revenue Service and the City of Phoenix, so you can't get better than that, right? The best part about this program is students, my students last year, um, brought back more than two million dollars to the community in federal refunds. They've actually worked with um, their clients, they talk one-on-one -on -one with their clients, and they actually prepare their returns and electronically file them. Another great program that we have here at Gateway in the Business and IT Division is our iFixit program. And Gateway has the prestigious position of being one of the few community colleges in the country that offers this program. Now what do they do in iFixit? In iFixit, they do just that. They fix technology. They fix electronics. They fix all those broken computers that you have, those broken laptops. Occasionally, I think they might even look at a phone or two. And why do they do this program? One, it allows students to actually get hands-on opportunity to diagnose and repair hardware. And it also helps the environment because it keeps that hardware out of the landfill. I've got another example to tell you. We also have an assimilated program that allows students to Invest in the stock market. Wouldn't that be great to see if you're going to make money first before you actually invest? Well, that is embedded in one of our classes, our uh, economics class to be exact. And so students have that opportunity not only to invest in the class, but also in some simulated competitions outside of class. Those are what we call co-curricular activities. So now we're in the Applied Business Lab, and this is a really unique room. It was designed to facilitate collaboration among the students. So as you notice, the seats are grouped in groups of fours, and each group has their own monitor. The students can control that monitor or the instructor control it. The students in the econ class, for example, they will do simulations together within their group and collaborate. The other thing we use this room for is it houses our Vita Tax program. Remember I told you about that earlier? Well, what's really cool is, is that we don't use the big screen monitors because you can't have confidential information being broadcast to everyone. But what we have is a tax preparer, which is one of my students, and a community member, and they sit together and collaborate over in one workstation. Now you're in one of our information technologies lab, and as you can tell, it's kind of noisy in here because it's not only is it a classroom, but it also an, has a simulated server rack and it has a simulated server room where students can actually get hands-on experience with network setting up networks. We are now in one of our computer labs. We primarily teach accounting in this particular room, and this is where I explain the difference between debits and credits. If you join class, you will know the difference too. Um, each student has their own computer. Um, students are able to bring up their electronic books and work through problems with me, um, as well as giving me all the right answers. Okay, my future rock stars, I am ready to see you in class. Are you ready to join me in class? So what do you need to do next? Let's do some research. Let's figure out what your academic path is going to be. So please go to gatewaycc.edu. Again, that's gateway, C is in cat, C is in cat, dot edu. And then do a search on the field that you're most interested in, and I will see you in class. <laughs>